Good day, Grade 8 learners. I'm Ma'am Dominica Novida, your math teacher. Are you ready for our new lesson? If yes, I want you to find a comfortable place to watch and listen. Please bring with you your module or compendium of notes, pen, and paper. Okay, let us begin. Today, we will discuss about triangles, specifically similarity and congruence between two triangles. But first, let us know where we can find these triangles in real world. Well, you can see triangles in your food, like pie and pizza. Also, when you go in cities, they are used as design or framework for buildings. And also, for construction of roads or bridges. Try to look around your house. You can see some triangles. Also, in nature, like leaves and flowers, and so much more. Now that you have an idea where we can find these triangles, let us discuss two triangles, the similarity and congruence. Let us try to differentiate them. First, let us try a deeper understanding on similar triangles. Consider two similar triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Vertices A, B, C corresponds to vertices B, Q, R. Okay, these triangles are similar, but what else do similar triangles convey? What do they tell us about sides and angles? Quite a lot, I should say. First, let us look at the sides. Similar triangles have always their corresponding sides in proportion. In these two triangles, based on correspondence, side AB corresponds to side PQ, AB and PQ. Similarly, side BC corresponds to side QR, and side CA corresponds to side RB. Corresponding sides in proportion means that the ratio of all three pairs of corresponding sides will be equal. The ratio of AB to PQ will equal to the ratio of BC to QR and will also equal to the ratio of CA to RB. AB and PQ are corresponding sides. BC and QR are corresponding sides, and CA and RP are also corresponding sides. But what does it actually mean? It means that each side is scaled up or scaled down by each factor. Here, factor for which AB increase to get PQ is the same as the factor for which BC is increased to get QR or as the factor for which CA is increased to get PR. So remember, when triangles are similar, the corresponding sides will always be in proportion. Now, let's get into the angles. Similar triangles will always have the same shape. What does it tell us about the angles? Yes, the measure of the corresponding angles of similar triangles will always be equal. Based on the correspondence of vertices, angle A corresponds to angle P, and angle B corresponds to angle Q, and angle C corresponds to angle R. So, angle A will be congruent to angle P. This can also be written as measure of angle A is equal to measure of angle P. It means that if you take a protractor and measure the angles of these triangles, the measure will be equal. Similarly, angle B will be congruent to angle Q. And angle C will be congruent to angle R. When triangles are similar, corresponding angles will be equal. So, 
we can all deduce it if we are given that two triangles are similar. Here, we are given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Is similar to can be replaced with this sign. So, this can be read as triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Actually, it also works the other way around. If we are given either of these conditions, we can say that two triangles are similar. Remember, either of these conditions. So, if we are told that all corresponding sides are proportioned, we can be sure that the triangles are similar. Or even if you are told that the corresponding angles are equal, we can be sure that the triangles are similar. Now, let us understand congruency. When can two figures are congruent? It's simple. They should have the same shape as well as the same side. Say we have a shape like this and another one like this. We can easily say that they are not congruent as they are completely different shapes. Now look at the shape in this one. We can see that the shape is the same. But wait, the sizes are different. Which is why this two shape is also not congruent. But what about these two shapes? They have the same shape as well as the same size. Therefore, they are congruent figures. But we cannot place the figure on the other to know if they are congruent or not. So, how can we say that a figure is congruent or not? We need to understand a simple concept first. But first, I would like to ask you, is it only figures that can be congruent? Consider two segments. Segment AB and segment CD. They are both measures 3 units. Can we say that they are congruent? Of course we can. Segment AB is congruent to segment CD. What if we have two angles like this? With the same measure. For example, they both measure 60 degrees. Yes, these two angles are also congruent. Coming back to our question, when two figures are congruent? Look at these two triangles. When can we say that they are congruent? These two triangles are congruent if all the matching sides all the matching angles are congruent. So to sum up, congruent triangles are always similar for they have the same shape as well as the same size. Also, the same measure of sides and angles. But similar triangles may not always be congruent. Again, congruent triangles are always similar but similar triangles may not always be congruent. And that's all for today, my dear learners. I hope you learned something today. Again, this is Mom Dominica saying study hard, be good, and be safe. Until next time.